So you know my title of uh, my presentation is um, the bright side of the bad presentation because uh, even though it was bad, I still have like a bright side about it. So uh, my name is Lee. I'm a Vietnamese, but uh, I was born and raised in Hanoi, and I was uh, just studying UK uh, since I was 17. Um, yes, uh, it's quite a journey in the UK, and uh, I consider London my second home. I uh, spent a lot of time there just uh, to enjoy life, meeting a lot, a lot of people from different countries, different world of life. And I, I work on different, like, very odd job, even McDonald's. Uh, so, yeah, it's um, like an experience for me. But then, um, thing happened, I couldn't get a job because of my visa, I'm not a local. Then uh, my study finished and I have to uh, return uh, back to uh, Vietnam. And yeah, so uh, I leave everything behind, all my friends, all my business uh, opportunity behind and uh, move back to uh, Hanoi. So I'm um, get back to Hanoi and I feel like it's the same thing. Hanoi haven't changed anything. Six years ago, seven years ago, it's still Hanoi, old, beautiful, quiet, Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's about every weekend in Hanoi. And I live just like families from there. So, yeah, this is my reality when I'm back to Hanoi. And I start feeling as soon as I go get back to the Vietnam, I feel very depressed. Somehow, I feel like this is not something for me. I wake up in the morning without anything to be excited about. I don't know where my life, my life going to be next. So, yeah, it's very uh, depressing. So I start looking for a job, but I, ha I have to. <laughs> <laughs> and then I landed an office job after a month. I thought, this is not bad. I can uh, bear with it. I got to start somewhere. I got to start from the bottom. So uh, I stick to this job. And then after one month, my company, who I work for, sent me to, to somewhere far from Hanoi. It's like in the middle of Vietnam. So. Uh, it was like a small town in the middle of nowhere. It's a very uh, underdeveloped area. Um, and uh, every day I had to, like, to, ch to commute on the car half an hour back and forth between uh, location. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nothing beautiful about that. It's quite isolated. I feel very isolated to the, like, to the modern world. Um, and I had to stay there for quite a while, which I have no other, other choice because I don't know what I'm looking for in life. So yeah, I just settled up with that job for, uh, until I know what I want to do. And it's like, uh, you can see livestock everywhere. Like you have more cows than uh, people. And, uh, and yeah, more depressed, more sad, fuck life. So, um, so how, how, how I want to deal with this? And the weather, is that the worst thing? It's uh, in the middle of Vietnam, so the summertime is Boiling hot, it's like soaring hot. And when it's rain, it's like flooding everywhere and I had to cut the power out. So yeah, no AC, no electricity, no internet. Getting more depressed. <laughs> so how would I deal with this? How would I wanna get with the situation? I learned, first of all, to accept it. I will not gonna resist, resist my situation, I had to accept it because even if I, if I complain, nobody gonna care. Yeah. It's not gonna help my situation. So first thing is to accept this. I cannot change my situation, I can only live with it. It is what it is. So the second thing I learned is to like just enjoy the little thing in life. Just to uh, be grateful. Maybe it's uh, the air bit in the morning, like the cup of coffee, the warm bed, internet. Whatever small thing I have, I realize that if I just focus on the, what I have, <laughs> instead of <laughs> Instead of what I don't have, the small thing in life is amazing things that make life meaningful. So be grateful is a key. Gratitude is a key to be to the happy life. Actually, they're not, <laughs> not related. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, <laughs> the third thing is to be happy. Happiness is a choice, so I make myself to be happy. I have no other option. It's a charm with myself. I'm not allowing myself to be unhappy. Yeah, actually, eating brand makes me happy too. 
So uh, yeah, I not allow myself to feel, get any negative thought, no negative uh, complaining, because I know if I complain, nobody gonna hear. Us. So uh, I leave all negativity in my life, stay happy, stay positive. At the same time, I get myself to into stuff like meditation, reading book, eating healthy, getting learning new skill. So in the way, like getting to a journey, make me focus on the things that matters more than uh, like my situation. <clears throat> so after one year, I had enough of it. I decided to go back to Hanoi, back to the same place I was on one year ago, back to the office. Not the same office, but still the office. But this time, I'm a different person, more or less. I feel uh, some kind of, um, yeah, so, so I realized that even uh, I'm in the bad situation, but there's always a bright side to it. Like, if uh, something happened to me, it happened for me for a reason, and that's the bright side of it. So um, whatever happened to me now, I'm ready for it. I'm not depressed anymore. But I'm ready for what my life will take me next. So thank you for listening to my presentation, and I hope you find your bright side as much as I found my bright side.